I don't. I, we don't need to do this anymore. I'm just going to do it for... Slap it. For, slap it happy. Nostalgia. It's a fail safe. It's a, always a fail safe. It's hey. a fail safe. Hey, gentlemen. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Garfish. Everybody watching, listening, we are the Soda Nerds. We are at Garfish Brewery in Bethel, Minnesota. Delicious. And come on in and join us. We're just going to talk. No, honestly, And yeah. sit and hang out. We have trivia night going on here at the brewery. Garfish, every other Tuesday night, has a trivia night. Tonight happens to be Harry Potter, so the house is packed for Harry Potter. And uh, the head brewer here, Brandon, the owner of the brewery. Phenomenal guy. Great guy, told us, said, hey, come record a podcast at the brewery. And we said, let's do it during a trivia night. Because the Soda Nerds were partnering up with Garfish, and on April 18th we'll be hosting Marvel Trivia Night here at this brewery. So oh, it'll be a big if, night. There's... If you're a Marvel nerd and you are in the area of Bethel, Minnesota, look up Garfish Brewery. We will be here hosting Marvel Trivia Night on April 18th. It'll be huge. We're going to have, uh, you know, costume contests, among all their raffle tickets and all that jazz. I mean, there's going to be beer, prizes, everything given away. So Absolutely. It'll be a good night. Good night but all for around. tonight, we just said, let's go set up our stuff uh, during trivia and... Let's chat about whatever we want to chat about. We're going to get some beers throughout the process. <laughs> Jeff doesn't contribute much ever. No, so. I, I bought Jeff, a pizza. A pizza's on the way. That's, oh, that's, one, right. that's one of the other benefits of the Garfish is you can order you contributed a pizza, locally yeah. made Hagee's pizzas. I believe they're Hagee's. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so I, I contributed in that way. And hey, you are the pretty face of the group. You are the pretty one. That's not true. But yes. yeah, that's why we keep thank you around. You. Thank you. So, okay. So anyway, you might hear <laughs> a lot of room noise because this place is packed. I think we just found out that this is the most teams, teams, 20 teams, most teams they've ever had for a trivia what? night yep. because I think they're starting to do this rotation of bringing in different hosts yep. to host different nights, hence why we're going to be here on April 18th doing Marvel trivia. Oh. But this is one of the nights where they brought in a host doing Harry Potter and this place is packed. And I'm telling you, all right, so we have Harry Potter. There is some big big fans here and I, I, I honestly go at 20 teams Marvel Knight can beat that I think Marvel Knight we can have 22 25 teams I want this place packed beyond belief you I know what it'd be great. it's interesting you bring that up because what I just heard was 16 was the max teams they've ever had oh yeah and we're sitting at what 20 20 so yeah I definitely think that Marvel Knight you're probably not wrong 25 is not unattainable in our area Marvel is king Marvel's king well, I, well, here's a question for you. Do you think, I mean, what do you think is the biggest fandom that we have? I mean, what is the biggest fandom? When you say we, what do you mean we? Well, how about, in oh, okay, just in general, what do you think is the biggest fandom? Let's, let's take Fantasyland here and go group up everybody into armies. Yeah. All right. Okay. Who's going to have yeah. the biggest army? I need your help. You know, let's pick four different groups or whatnot. So, like. Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Marvel. Yes, that's what I'm I saying. Mean, if, if you're looking at, we're gonna give away a beer because we like beer. And they do these, like so they do these drawings. You're gonna hear a lot of. We're right next to the PA system, so you're gonna hear the host oh, yeah. whenever you hear. I mean, you're obviously no. hearing room noise, but whenever you hear through the PA system. Five, two, five, two. Good. And yes, there are kids here too because it's family friendly place. It's great. It's phenomenal. Great place. I love this place. Hey, all right. Just want a free beer. Yeah, you can't go wrong. There you go. That's the other thing. Those of you, if you ever come check out a Marvel night, it's great. Whatever the theme is for that, not Marvel night, trivia sp night specifically, but trivia night, whatever the theme is for that night. Tonight is Harry Potter. If you come dressed up, you bring something Harry Potter related, your team gets extra points. And yep. in between every round, they do raffles and you can win beer and growlers. And oh, but for sure, Marvel night, we are going to have a costume contest. So come as, 100%. I mean, we want to have this place packed beyond belief with all sorts of goodies. And I know there's going to be a first, second, third place for costume contests, so make sure you come as best dressed as you can. So yeah. it'll be fun. Oh, thank you so much. He's the host and grabbing wow. beer out. Uh, I'm not yeah, doing that. Cups. I'm, uh, no. Sorry, Brandon. I'm not doing that. <laughs> hey, Deadpool might do that. Oh, hey. That would be great if Deadpool went around yeah. with a tray. That'd be yeah. Do we want Deadpool or do we want uh, President Loki? Loki? We'll, we'll find out. I think we know which one you want. 
Yeah, Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> that can be done. I, I hope my wife I, comes. As Black I want Widow. one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll be a good night. I think it'll be fun. Um, but hang on, back to my question because yeah. I do want an answer to this. No, so what if you, you so you're thinking like pop culture ish, like if you were gonna pair up, like you said, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, uh, Dress Park. Well, uh, just just honestly think of all of the big fandoms. All right, we have Star Wars, we have Marvel, we have uh, Harry Potter, we have uh, Lord of the Rings. You know. Like even we can even go with Pokemon. I mean, there's a huge fandom that goes behind Pokemon. What do you think would have like the largest mass of fans? Before we hit that, we need to think about The Office, Friends, right? No, no, we're talking. So this no, doesn't no. relate to like That's the like Garfish TV- trivia nights. This no, is like, no, okay, we're, okay. I'm just talking fandom and in like nerdism because we, we see. Behind us, we have 20 teams of yeah. Harry Potter people yeah. that love Harry Potter. And I'm just going, if we were to have groups like this for Lord of the Rings, Pokemon, you know, uh, uh, Harry Potter, and Marvel. Power you know, Rangers. I mean, Power Rangers. Anyway. I mean, what would be, do you think, the biggest fandom that would have that biggest crowd? Gosh. Well, do they have a Marvel theme park? Yes. Or is that just part they, of Universal? They have a Marvel theme park. They have a Star Wars theme park. They have a Harry Potter theme park. Right? Uh, I mean, you, so right off the bat, you got those top. To be three, completely still, honest with you, the biggest fandom is probably Star Wars. See, I I, I want to say Star Wars, but Star Wars also has the oldest fandom because it's been around the longest. So I'm going. If we're not going as far, I mean, if you go back as far, but. Like even in the newer generation, are you an ageist? Is that what no, we're doing? I, well, no, I don't just, identify as an age. All right. Y- yes, you, you are the oldest one here. So, no, <laughs> at that, I just want to look at this and go. Yeah. I know you want to hit some buttons. Um, at this, I just go. Do we have this set up so that just overall, not not the not? I'm just looking at. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So Star Wars is the oldest one. It is the oldest one out there. But I also go, like, the newer kids nowadays, they are more Marvel fans yeah. instead of Star Wars. But Star Wars has some great cartoons. They do have some great movies. But do you find that their crowd would still be larger than, I don't know, Harry Potter? Because I don't know what, I mean, in Europe, Harry Potter is huge. But how big is Star Wars? Right, I know across the world, Pokemon is huge. Now. Yeah, but so, like, this is a night of first. I mean, it's, what would be my first time I'm just hosting? Really curious, it's actually Brandon's so. first time. We got, a, oh. we got a host so, intervening here. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Again, this is going to be Ready? happening. So Uh-oh. just it is what bear is. with okay. it. So it's all good. if you're looking at the score and you're like, no, we know we got that one right, and you're like, this score is way off. It gets in pretty rounds, interesting. Pretty. Come on up, uh, Brandon. Uh, you can just answers, do this. And dun, dun. I can't hear. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nobody can hear anything. <laughs> That's, That's beautiful. We'll figure out something as we go for yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm ready. So, just saying. <laughs> this is, if you were to picture, this is like a, think of just like a live broadcast. I'm oh, ready. Yeah. That's kind of what's going on here. So you guys can get right. the insider uh, look of a trivia wow. night at Garfish. Hmm? You're just <laughs> along for the night. Monetize. Here we go. Uh, team number two, Dumbledorks in first place with 30. Uh, team number eight, the Fluffies, also in first. With oh, 30. no, spew. Team 11, last in last in its scoots, also 30. We know team a lot 14, of people Death here, so it's kind of fun to see where House everybody stands Elf, out in their front, rankings. Uh, spew. Spew. We love spew. <laughs> in second place with 25, Harry Potter, uh, 25. No, what's Harry really cool? Porter. That's a good name. Beer, okay, so I don't know what trivia is like at Hot any of the other places that you guys play trivia, but, like, does this get really, like, heated with... You know the answer. You know, you uh, got to really ha- make sure these. As you and I have been going over questions and yeah. trying to set up questions, how do we set this up so that we have the answer locked in for sure? Because we know we're going to have people pissed off. Yeah. You know, if they get the answer wrong, it's a BS. You know, you got to have the backup answer and have that straight out. I don't know. No problem, Lama. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure all of that is ironed out, figured out. I don't feel like getting my throat cut. To anybody <laughs> playing Marvel trivia. Couple questions. Here we go. Well, and that's and that, see, and that brings me back to my question. 
So then if it is that kind of a big deal, I think who's, who's going to cut your throat? I think it's Star Wars. You think it's Star I Wars? Do. I do. I think you do. Age group or not, I think Star Wars probably trumps all of them. Show me a Marvel fan who doesn't like Star Wars. Well, okay. That is true. But here's the thing. If they're all Disney. But here's the thing. We we can categorize into uh, all of those right. because we love all those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. but which one would you go to battle Question for? Question one, would what you are die the for? names of you the know? four houses that So that's Hogwarts. where it's kind of like Jurassic Park. Be <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah. You know me. But see, that's where I go. As much as I love Ghostbusters, did that I mean, it uh, brings it back two, a little bit because the new movies that are coming out, those six, new Ghostbuster fans, young kids have been coming six. back up and around. Yeah. You know, uh, so that's three, where I go. All right. Star Wars has been around for quite a young while, but while. so has, you know, Ghostbusters and stuff like that. But it has not uh, had four, how many movies like Star the Wars has. But with a little bit of, you know, one six. extra movie, you see that just liven up. The fan base that upon, I mean, so many people okay, are getting sorry, proton packs and suits and all that jazz in right. comparison to what it used to be. All you know, so it just the revamp on everything. I think that what? has grown that base Boats. a lot too. So I don't know. I don't know. Marvel's been hyped the most over the there last you go, round one. two uh, decades. It, right? They've had the most money. They've had the most yeah. movie exposure. Exposure. Yeah. Oh, I'm they've, ready. they've held the theaters like at hostage with even Jesus even some of the people that are making movies are like. I'm done making movies because all they do is make these Marvel blockbusters. Yeah. Right, and it's like, around. what's the point of even throwing something out the same month that that's happening? Well, exactly. Round they didn't, they, they never want to drop their movie during a Marvel movie. No. no. They're no. like, oh, crap. All right. Well, we can't drop it then because they're dropping a Marvel movie. So you mm-hmm. drop crap your movies out during that time. But I, I, I don't know. Marvel has kind of been slowly tapering off. I mean... Still, DC hasn't been able to hold a candle for anything. I feel it like still. it's Marvel's been doing this, and then it did this, and now it's doing this. Well, I mean, shoot. We, okay, so you, you've seen the new Ant-Man movie, right? You haven't seen that yet? I, I heard it was uh, not good. Uh, one thing I did see, to mention you are one of those that people that listens to other commentators before you go and see shit. He, he listened to me. Oh, really? Because I walked out of that and all tore that. that thing apart. Until I had time to actually sit and think Question about it. But I was about to say, because yeah. you and I had a discussion about yeah. this, and it was not Professor that it was Mugano bad by any means, but it was it could have been better with certain things. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll let you bring up the aspect that my of big, Kane. My biggest issue with it, which you kind of called me down on, was that it just looked like a really cheesy made Star Wars movie. Yeah, it did. Yeah. But then you brought up, you said, how else are they going to depict... The Question quantum realm, three, you right? Know. It's a totally make believe realm. Ghost. So how do you? How do you? I mean, it's a new universe. How do yeah. you create something out of nothing? Yeah. So I think that that was the, they did the best that they could on that. I didn't have a problem with that, honestly. I thought it was interesting to to have all these other life forms down there, all these other life people. I I could have seen creatures of some sort, but other like you know civilizations or whatnot. I had a little problem with, but. They're trying to make it into this whole other universe. Okay, fine. So that's the way it is. That's fine. I can deal with that. The problem that you and I had, that you and I discussed, was with Kane going, all right, for him to be this big-time, you know, Thanos-level villain, somebody should have died. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, going into the movie, I thought Ant-Man was going to die. Yeah. You know, because sorry, uh, owner of the brewery here is telling a story. Oh, right now. He just collapsed. Even if you don't know what's going on, you just clap. It's all good. Everybody claps when you. When somebody claps, everybody claps. When you so clap, we clap. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I mean, it, it should. He should have been a bigger level threat. You know, if somebody died, you know, if he would have died, it would have been great. It would have been phenomenal. We have a lot of people here in costume. We have a little boy that's grabbing some games because this is a family place. It's it's great. It's a brewery, but it is totally welcome to families. It's phenomenal. So the kids are grabbing toys and uh, you know, games and stuff. What's up? Go ahead. Where in the heck is my pizza that I ordered for us? Dude, it's coming. It's a busy place. There's 20 teams. Come on now. We no, one. we are the Silver Raids. Uh, and we're trying to wow. find a home for Wow, somebody's it. got a big head. And <laughs> y'all heard about Kane getting arrested Otherwise, for uh, domestic abuse or something? 
Uh, well, it, it, it's popped across my field. I don't know if it's true or not. I, I want to do some more research on it. So but yeah, cool. it's, it seems Where? interesting. Because could you imagine if his if he got if he got arrested, what that would mean for that future franchise? Yeah. That? Yeah. And I he mean, just did Creed three. Yeah. Right. So he's uh, he got ripped for that movie too. Did he? Oh, he got so ripped. I mean, Jiminy Crickets. Oh, yeah. He's grabbing some toys, man. He's grabbing the game. The game of life. Jeremy. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, it's tough yeah, to maneuver with all those wings, I tell you. Nice reflexes to the table behind us. <laughs> right? Strange. Just the slowest. You remind me of him a little bit. What are you doing? You're in the castle. In the place where everything is hidden. No, but honestly, you with ask, Kane, you, you should have killed somebody. He should have no, been that bad guy. Ask. You know, Who you and I have talked about that going. He, and what room for how bad are they talking about? of a guy he's supposed to be, he should have done more in being evil. So he should have killed Ant Man. I thought he was going to kill him. I, I, in the comics, he does. Yep. You know, I, I heard there, he, I there was he, a second in that movie where I was like, oh, I, he I, is, he's yep. dying. I heard he wasn't that guy. And what he's not that guy. Are they he's not that guy, pal. <laughs> no, he is. Yes. Uh, he does know. kill him in the comics. I had no idea. Well, from my understanding, it was that he, so he was supposed to kill strange. off Ant Man because of then his daughter the goes castle. and starts the new Avengers. The so then been. it'll be, if you know, Kate Bishop. Ask, you will never know. Uh, and if then, you know, you know all, you all, know all the other ask. new Who Avengers that are coming out, you know, the Miss Marvel and stuff like that, they were all joined together to be the new Avengers. So you'll have the new Captain America, the Falcon, stuff like that. So. That's where I perceived it was going, but I think they're going to hang on to a lot of the big level characters. Like because Thor and Iron Man and Hulk. And I don't know about Thor, but maybe. Captain America. Well, they, okay, so we know that they're going uh, Secret War style. I know, right? He's just listing <laughs> off names. <laughs> All just the ones like, that are out of the... What are the big MCU? names? Let me, let me see who else I can think of. Oh, Jeff. Captain yeah. Marvel yeah. and yeah. Muslim yeah. Captain yeah. Marvel yeah. and Monica Rambeau. Hulk smash. <laughs> Jesus. What, what is Finally. what is little Marvel? The little Marvel girl. Miss Marvel. The little one. Yeah, so Miss Marvel. It's Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and Monica Rambeau Marvel. God, this, these things are good, man. The cinnamon pretzel. Cinnamon pretzel. We are totally going to be off track for everything blocking. tonight. So Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. No, but they are freaking off good. track. Where's that GD pizza? Again, this is. What well, goddamn love you also. <laughs> I got the master one, so we can try to this make This is something through. that anybody that's watching, it's perfect for just having on. When you and I are sitting at our desks yep. and we're working, this is something that's probably perfect mm. to just lightly have on on a tab on YouTube while you're working on something else. You can kind of hear the room noise. You can hear what we're talking about. If a topic comes up that you hear that kind of piques your interest, you maybe turn to that screen and you tune in a little more. That's kind of the feel of what we're doing right now. It's like this is just an atmosphere. We are friends all together here playing trivia at a brewery. It's phenomenal. And you're just in the room with us and whatever comes along with that. So. Honestly, I, I just like the fact that we can do this and drink beer while we're doing it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I got a that. question, guys. I'm not necessarily involved in the Marvel Trivia Night April 18th. I'm going to be Deadpool running around doing my bit, probably having a camera, something like that. So, <laughs> so we have a new soundboard. It's if, if, <laughs> if, if I was to encourage my friends and some other people, like, how would I say develop your Avenger team? Build this team to take on the ner soda nerds. This is what I'm going to tell you right now. If you're going to come out to Marvel Trivia on April 18th at Garfish Brewing Company in Bethel, Minnesota, the common... Uh, theme for most or what people would assume most Marvel trivia is going to be is all MCU related questions, right? The Marvel Cinematic, Cinematic Universe. Universe. We're not saying that those questions won't be a part of this trivia. We're just saying you can't come with only that knowledge in right. your tool belt. So if you're putting a team together for Marvel trivia on April 18th at Garfish Brewing Company in Bethel, Minnesota, make sure your team consists of People that do know the MCU, they know Marvel as a whole, but they also know Marvel comic books. That's probably the big one is find yourself a Marvel comic book nerd and have them here with you on your team. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be all Marvel comic books. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be all MCU. It's going to be a healthy mixture 
of everything. So, so we're you know, talking I'll, like hey, comic. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let, oh. let me have a moment here. Just oh. between you and me. I'm teeing right. up. Get them ready to go, Ben. Between you and me, I'm going to give you a little hint, okay? There's going to be a Spider-Man question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, you know what? There might even be a whole round of Spider-Man. That's right. That's right. But that's 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 our little secret. All right. Don't don't tell anybody. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. <clears throat> keep in mind. <laughs> <laughs> keep in mind. I know the answer to one of the questions. What is Spider-Man's strongest ability? Without a doubt, a spider. <laughs> <laughs> that was good timing. That was, that was good timing. That was beautiful. I can mute him whenever I want to. <laughs> hey, Jeff, why don't you tell us what's going on with you right it's now? It's the 15-second buzzer. You're going to talk bad about <laughs> Spider-Man, you get the 15-second mute. Oh, That's the way I it works. I love it. I love it. You get a little discipline for uh, going against the Spidey, huh? Yeah. All right. All right. No, but I, what I was going to say is um, I forgot. Because I was a mid talk. <laughs> no, you're making fun of Spider Man and no, 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 his ability I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna. No, no, no. I wasn't oh, gonna. Here's a question: Who can who can uh, lift up Mjolnir? Everybody in the universe. That's you not know, true. Everybody. I mean, it seems Prove like it. everybody can lift it. Spider Man you know. can't. It, you know what? I got a comic that shows that Hulk picks up uh, Thor's hammer. There. I have the MCU that says he can't. Well, well your MCU Thank was you. based off of my comics. So. Thank you, Stan Lee. <laughs> You can push buttons. Oh, it don't mean they're going to do anything. Yeah, that was an effect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think what I was going to say is, um, so when we're talking about this, the April 18th Marvel Trivia Night, are we talking X-Men cartoons or just like, is it going to be like X-Men knowledge? We're going to talk about like Deadpool. It's like the, the whole gambit. Anything could be encompassed in this trivia. This is what I would say. Know your MCU, mm -hmm. know your comic books, mm -hmm. know your Fox Marvel Universe, mm -hmm. and know Marvel just as a whole. Okay? Yeah. The, the, I think the biggest thing to take away is we don't want people to come and think it's going to be Marvel Cinematic Universe right. movie-related questions. Yep. So We're not saying those won't be in there, but we don't want you to come with only that knowledge. Right. So 10 teams won't get 100% is what you're saying. Yes. Yes. And that, that's what we've been seeing at Trivia Nights is like you get ten or ten, six or 10 teams that get 100%, and now it's down to some random weird question. Right. We're like, we I want the say, real fan to win. Trivia Night at Garfish Brewing is fantastic. Oh, phenomenal. But these questions are going to be hard. Yeah. All Bring right. your nerds. Well, it's, it's going to be a combination. Johnny and, my, Johnny and I have been going over these questions, and it's kind of like what we see is easy or hard. Somebody else might not be, all right? But here's what I'm going to say. Definitely have at least one or two comic people in your group, okay? Because most people are based off of the movies. Don't, don't be doing that. Don't just base everything off the TV shows, neither. Have your comic person. Have the ability to be able to, you know, go, hey, I don't know this one. What is it? What is it? They've been muting each other, burping into the dang mics. I, I, I'm, I've worked but with I can toddlers. But I can mute it, though. <laughs> See, I got a burp. Nobody heard it. Nobody heard it. Go get yourself a I beer. I smell it. Go, <laughs> get, go get a beer, put it on my tab, so and we're, get so, our pizza. So we're going to sub out here. Uh, I'm going to go grab Dave Roberts. You guys probably... Do you want me to stay and talk with Dave? Yeah, I'm going to go get a beer. All right. Well, so, somebody go get me one because I'm empty. Okay. Put it on Jeff's tab. He yep. said he was buying the next uh, round. Yep. I got the next round and a pizza that allegedly is coming. So Haven't Jeff Johnson. It. Okay. Say what, the, what do you want? You can read off some of the beers that they have here at Garfish Brewing Company. Well, you can read company. them because you're facing that way. So, so at Garfish Brewing Company, I'll read the ones I can pronounce. They change them all the time, by the way. So they, have, they have the boat. So this is the beer nerds. Tune in. Boat launch stout. It's got an ABV of 6.2% and an IBU of 35. Mm -hmm. The Killed Cork. What, what are you doing? He's muting the Killed Cork own. Irish Whiskey Chipped Imperial Red Ale. That actually sounds ABV good. ABV 7.6. And I did try that. It's delicious. Uh, we don't talk about snow. That's what I just had. ABV of 6%. And that is a white stout. Pretty good. Uh, and there's a list of others. We can name some more later. But I'm going to go grab one. We're going to throw somebody else in my spot. 
Ooh, go get me that bok to bok. I'll take a bok to bok. The bok. Okay. I'm checking Sounds that good. pizza, bro. Are we out? Am I done? Just shut us no, down. So you guys can't hit a bunch of sound effects while I'm gone and just totally destroy this audio. Yeah, you can. That, that's that's what Jeff does. It's okay. Right it'll there, be fun. See? Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's get let's get Dave in here. Davey! Dave! Come here. Are you gonna go sit in this spot? What's up, on, Dave? How you doing? Hey, good. Good, good. All right, we're talk, good. Talk louder. Talk louder. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we can, bro. We usually have Jeff on that mic, so oh, okay. it's, it's and he's, down quite a bit, so, just so we don't have to hear him as much. I right, a, right, I, I get it. I got a feminine tone. To yeah. He yeah. does a little bit higher pitched, but it's all right. Is yeah. it the man bun? <laughs> should, should I Is put that the what man the bun in? Tone? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they my nick my new my new podcast, Man Bun and Mustaches. What nice. do you think? Nice, I like it. Do I got I like something there? I think so. <laughs> for think so. for a small crowd, I think for you would have something. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. All right, so uh, let, let, let's talk about the trivia going on here real quick. You yeah, were yeah. part of the team Spew, yeah. right? Yeah. So you, no, and, well, and as we were talking, we like Spew. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how are you guys doing? Uh, we're all right. We're missing what, like one question what around. Did, what did you miss? What did you miss? Uh, the first round we missed how many ghosts there are. How many was we, it? We missed uh, Moaning Myrtle. We forgot That's, about her. I told them about and, Moaning and Myrtle. I, I literally was going to say, <sighs> is Moaning Myrtle one of the house ghosts? Because yeah. if it's not, then that's another one okay. that lives there. See, I, I, I've been reading some of these questions off with the corner of my eye here and listening, and I'm going... Off the top of my head, I'm going, these are actually pretty hard they're questions. They're pretty hard questions. Yeah. I'm going, yeah, I don't have difficult. a clue. Yeah, I, I, okay, I have not read the books, but I have watched the movies enough times that I, I know what's going on with most of them. Right. But I do not have a clue, like, how many ghosts? Are you kidding me? Yeah. You know? So yeah. as I'm hearing... Yep. But but in the... Jeff. Yeah. Um, we forgot there's, there's one for each house, plus the teacher. Yep. And then moaning murder. It, didn't somebody yeah. die? Like, wasn't there like? There, there was a teacher that was so boring he died. Yeah. And he's the fifth one, and then the sixth one was. Damn. And we and, put five. And I came up with six. seven. Yeah. But because, one of them's not because I don't know a lot of things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you just other people seven put seven as well. Did they? But one of them's not a was ghost. Not a ghost. Yeah. Dang. Or right. didn't live in it live in one of the houses yeah that one, okay, which so is what the question was fair enough. as you're going about this do you thank you good sir you got my what beer now the yeah, uh, there you go. as uh as you're going about they this do you announced. who's your strong they member of your team violet violet and uh who's violet johnny's wife violet's my oldest daughter yeah so your oldest daughter is the strongest knowledge oh, of oh yeah the yeah there's three people at our table that aren't doing anything <laughs> Are you are you one of them? Uh, yeah. Wow. It sounds like it sounds like you're sitting at our table. <laughs> right. Hey. Yeah. Well, okay, it is what it is. <laughs> no, that's cool. Do you guys think? I mean, with the competition around you, do you think you're gonna hold strong on this? Do you oh think yeah. Gonna go yeah. Ahead? We'll be. It, it all comes down to the last round. Ooh. Every time. Ooh. Here's something. To note. All right. So in Garfish trivia, there's always that last round. Uh, do you bet everything, or do you keep a few points? What is your wager question? It's the are, wager round. Are you one yes. of those teams that bets everything and keeps one? Point Depends or? on the round we've been doing. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, the last trivia they had was office trivia. Okay. And we got every question right. So we're like, bet everything. Bet the house. Yeah, we, we've got every question right so far, and it was a question we didn't know. And we oh, lost right. everything. Oh, t- we were first place all the way through, and then we lost it all. They're going to give away a beer. So. Uh-oh. They're going to give away another beer. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I love that. Free beer is always a good winner. Do you, you want to go check your ticket? No, no. I know it. what it is. Yeah. All right, awesome. <laughs> B says 199. I'm, I'm heading out. You're dipping. Yeah, I'm dipping. Are you going to hear it like Jeff's no. pizza? <laughs> 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 Just, oh, Don't let she want. Oh, there's trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the it's my middle kid picking the, the picking the ticket. Nine, two, five, two, three, nope. seven. Dad's ticket miracle. One nine nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see. <laughs> what? Come on. 
So uh, what merch and uh, what, uh, you know, garb did you guys bring as you guys came in? Because, you know, you get extra points here at Garfish for coming in with merch. Yeah, we went, we went, well, I didn't go hard. I just got the muggle shirt. You know, Ooh. that's it. That's do you, just, do you, do you so consider yourself more of a muggle than a wizard? I'm, I'm big He's time muggle. definitely a muggle. <laughs> definitely. Hardcore. <laughs> I may look like Dumbledore, but. Uh, so I could hand you this, uh, <laughs> you know, Elder Wand and you could do nothing. Nothing. Oh, yep. that's a bummer. Around. <laughs> <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Does that do anything? No, no, it doesn't. No. Anyway, well, that um, good. my but Violet, the, the strong one, has the robe, has a shirt, has uh, the pants. Literally, is head to toe. And it's Hufflepuff, um, right? Or is it Ravenclaw? Uh, no, we're Hufflepuff. You're Hufflepuff, yeah. See, Violet, <laughs> myself, and Mandy are are Hufflepuff. I feel like your beard's too long. <laughs> oh, he heard that. He heard that. There's no hey, such thing as a long beard. That's that. a wizard beer. I'm hearing that. <laughs> and then, uh, um, all right, here we go. We're gonna go the, uh, around. My youngest is a Slytherin. Yes. Yeah, and then I believe Hazel is a Ravenclaw. Oh, I, know. I do love that your youngest is Slytherin. Yeah, that is it. she is. <laughs> what? Why? My house was House <laughs> Elf. McGonagall What's that? You're... House, my uh, house was House Elf. You no, know it is your, your servant. So I just, <laughs> house, house Elf. Is if I give you my dirty that, sock, then you're now free. <laughs> no, you're free. <laughs> I get to stay outside of the Jeff castle. Jeff is a free <laughs> elf. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Yeah, everyone knew the joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. Well, if you're a house elf, you know. It's yeah. Fine. Next, next Harry Potter, I'm coming as Dolby. This is Lemon Drops. We will accept Lemon Drops or Licorice Ooh, licorice snaps. I would have taken Oh, look, we have a celebration yeah. over here. People are cheering. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have guessed and lemon drops. Five. We had Strange. lemon drops and changed it. That's the one we got wrong. Oh, castle, really? In the place where everything is hidden. Licorice snaps. I, I remember that because right. in the movie they bit you know, those little black biting. Yeah, and then they, and she they dumps them on the floor and they all go. Right. But that's my movie knowledge. also accept the gray lady. Jeez, did you chug that beer? Oh, yeah. here's a question for you, Dave. That's what, what we around? put. What's one of your favorite beers you got here? Uh, I'm actually doing the Dorkle Snorf. Yeah, what do you think of that? Which is a yes, new one they just right. put out tonight, and it's uh, pretty pretty good. I love coming here because it's always a new beer. Always a new beer they to try. They just put it out this morning. They just tapped it today. Come Fridays to Garfish, because seriously, Garfish has some of the best the mixtures of beers. I love their stuff. Yeah. Yep. Um, House Elf Liberation for 55. Uh, are, why are you playing around with the board like Here that? Beer, 50. <laughs> I'm, I'm just concerned 50, about my pizza. That you really? <laughs> he's still thinking about his pizza. I know. <laughs> Seriously, he's been talking about this almost the entire time. Oh, where's my pizza? Where's my bammer on Dude, my pizza? I bought you a pizza. You had a couple of pieces. <laughs> and this is the man who always complains about, I can't eat that. I'm on a diet. I can't eat that. Where's my pizza? I want my pizza. Well, the shitty thing is, it was purchased. And now it exists somewhere in this room. Yep. Lay off, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're eating my pepperoni. <laughs> it's all right, Damn it. yeah. It's coming back. It's it's coming around. You know what? Just keep your ears this open. Maybe they're calling for another pepperoni pizza. <laughs> Damn it. Do you want me to go check on your pepperoni pizza? I will. Potter's godfather. I'll go up and tell him, hey, I know I, I who's pepperoni Johnny pizza. Did. I think oh, Johnny told John him. Jonathan did? Pizza? He's really worried about his pizza. I it, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't touch anything on the pizza. No. <laughs> Do you see this disappointment? Yep. I love it. <laughs> well, <laughs> <get out>. yeah. <laughs> Do, okay. Do you know the full name? And I the full name, the full name. of Sirius Black's brother. The full name of Sirius Black's Ramius. Ramius. Uh, yeah, isn't it Ramius Black? Is, is this Who? Okay. I, I hey! <laughs> Just yeah, kidding. Yeah, we're the oddballs in the corner they here. Were that's where they. A little while ago. It's it's. We can't talk. It, it was you know serious black. I think his brother's just kidding black. Is that just is that? kidding? Black. Skinny Levi's black. Skinny Levi's. Black. I, I think it's kind of skinny an off jeans black. Black. Oh, yes. black. It'd be more of a gray. Man no. bun black. Yeah, man bun. <laughs> man bun. Question black. number three. Question three. Who Jeez. does Bill Weasley marry? Uh, Question number three. She's what's what's the mom Weasley? 
Or I, is Bill one of the brothers? Bill. He's the older one. He's the... He's the eldest brother? Yeah, he marries De La La Fleur. Really? Of the... Um, La Fleur clan? No, the girls' oh, school. <laughs> the girls' school. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. The ones yeah. that dance De, around De or whatnot? Oh, cool. the French ones or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. The little yeah. butterflies fly over. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Question four. Gets, I'm, I'm not what lying. Is James I, I hear these questions. And I, I don't that? have a clue. Uh, Marauder, I know. Yes, we we just talked about clue. this. I'm not going to say it. We got a kid fell. Kid down. Kid down. Kid down. Kid down. Kid down. I think we, just, we just talked about this head. because no, I have a... I, where's my pizza? Yeah. <laughs> where's that button? <laughs> that one button. Not that one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't hear any of those. I know. I can't hear any he, of them. he muted them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did he? Shut up! Okay. That's, 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 the the one. That's, that's the one. I, one. <laughs> that's the one I hate. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. Every, ti- man. every time Jeff talks about his pizza, hit that one. Hey, yeah. little, little man needs a beer. Little man oh, needs a beer. You need a pizza. pizza. You need a pizza? Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah. true facts. No, what? actually, it's sad. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but a little boy, <laughs> he, hit, he hit his head on my chair. Ooh. I feel bad. I want to go hold him here. Today. What is the name okay, of the person who talking about this gentleman up here. Um, I don't have a clue. Violet what has that one. She wrote it down. Look at her. Look yep. She's Sorry. confident. Does she even discuss with the group what's going on? Uh, nine out of ten, no. She, she just she writes just, it down. She knows like, the Yeah, that's right. She's like... <laughs> Yeah, that's I right. read these. Bu- I wrote these books. <laughs> <laughs> she she's gone beyond the series books and read the Fantastic Beasts and all, all the other books. So she's read okay. all the books. At this, do you think that they should carry on and do a full series as their adults and carry on with their with this Harry Potter legacy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You think they're gonna do it? I don't think I don't know Perfect. that they will, but I think they should. I think they should too. I think there's still yep. enough fan base that. Oh, I mean, I mean, look at this place. Beast, they went before. Did, did you guys see the Adam Driver, the the fandom they want to have him be the serious Snape, young serious Snape? No, no. So Aaron, Adam Driver wasn't he right? Kylo Ren? Yeah, Kylo uh, Ren, right? Okay. Okay. So when you do a side by side with. Um, at, is it Alan Rickman? Yes. Who played Sirius Black? Yep. Or not Sirius Black. No. Um, Sirius Snape. Rickman played Snape. Snape. Yeah. It's like I can't. It's just, it's so. Their like, facial structures yeah, look so a lot similar. Like, and then yeah. you're like, you look at him and you're like, damn, that'd be a nice. You want to bring in that whole storyline of him with James Potter and, and. Lily? The dead chick. Lily Potter. <laughs> the dead chick. And, <laughs> God. James, Lily's James the mom, Lily. right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. The yeah. mud blood. Yeah, she's yeah. gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasty. And and so like, mud blood. But that would be a good storyline, and it would restart with a with a <clears throat> a list actor as serious. Right? Yeah, I think it'd be a cool story arc. Why not? Find okay. out who James Carter was. He was an asshole. Okay. Yeah. So, he, so was he? <laughs> yeah. I was in the books. Maybe it shows in the movies. He's a he's an ass. Well, hey, and every young kid is. I mean, if you're crying out loud, and not if you're bullied. Yeah, well, he's a deer, isn't he? <laughs> but 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 serious, isn't he a deer? Serious, isn't his like Patronus when he yeah, when he shows up a as a deer? Yeah. Right, and and when I'm driving home at night, and and <laughs> you just aim for and deer. Potter jumps out in front of me. I'm like that asshole. <laughs> yeah, you're so right. Big. He is an asshole. That's so <laughs> <big>. <laughs> so oh, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's that's what I'm saying. That's funny. Just like that. So, so you would much rather have a backstory on a certain character like that than taking the the key three yeah. and going into the future. I would. Adult yeah, lives. I would love to see the Dumbledore guy. The the. So you want to do Army, like a but like a the Star original. Wars thing where it goes backwards. Yeah, I'm tired they, of they hinted, I get so no, confused, they hinted at it with Dumbledore, right? I huh? forget which movie it was, but it showed him like stealing the Elder Wand. Yes, remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, that guy would be badass. It'd be a perfect. It'd be like a perfect like Dumbledore, young Dumbledore. Yeah. And then it would launch into like, I don't know, the backstory. Why yeah. not? Who cares about the future? Let's go to the past. Yeah. Eighty-eight miles an hour. Right? 88 miles an hour and go back to <laughs> 1955 and let's do this. Right. Back right. to the future. Yeah. Dang it. Come on. Mm-hmm. No, I, I honestly, I'd rather see them go for, forward in time instead of keep going backwards. Because as we keep on cutting backwards, I, 
I get upset with these movies that keep doing that because then it changes like a little bit of the original storyline. It's like, wait a second, that piece wasn't part of that, right. but yet they added it to be more effective and more, you know, sure. eye appealing or whatnot. And I, I'd much rather have a solid story for the future because nobody knows what's going on with that. I'd like to see them carry that in, whether right. or not they bring in new characters or continue with the original characters. I, you know, I could just... see that, too. Uh, um, honestly, if I had to pick one or the other, I'd like to see them continue. I agree with you. Let's just continue on with the story. Because like, we love all going. these characters. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see. Okay, they went in and their parents, but... Obviously, you know, as as we all grow up, there's, you know, other evils to deal with then, you know. So let's see what next battle they have to conquer. And I, I think it'd be interesting. How do they deal with being parents and dealing with that? You right. Know, it just shows right. shows the maturity level on it. I don't know. I, I'd be interested in that just because, you know, I'm a nerd and a parent and went on to my okay. next level. Yeah. So if you move into the future. Did you just text him about your pizza? Be honest. Yeah. I, I said, hey, Domino's, <laughs> get this shit here. I need to get sick here. No, but if you move into the future, right? Yeah. The the main villain is dead, and there's never been announced a new villain. Yeah, but why couldn't there be a why new couldn't, villain? Yeah. Who's okay, calm say down. Not honey, <laughs> honey. Yes, dear. There, there's not been a villain announced, unless it's like Lucius Malfoy or something. If it's Lucius Malfoy, fine. I'm okay with that. Right, he's not dead yet, is he? No, it's, he's not dead. I don't know. Damn near everybody died in the last. Yeah, yeah. but Lucius last movie. Lucius, or what's just the little um, Malfoy. Draco, 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 Draco yeah. Malfoy. Okay, so he's still alive. So could he potentially be a new whatever? Well, he's fine. A, it's shown. Wait but, it's shown that he was a parent too, and he had a kid going off to Hogwarts yep. too, and he wasn't a bad but, guy at that point. But there's no reason why somebody else can't get a bug in their butt and start being bad. Yeah. There's no reason. I mean, it's a wizarding world. I mean, I, they, say they make I a tent turn agreed. into, you know, <laughs> agreed, but Motel the 6. Fir- you know? The further you move into the future, the further you're going to see yourself, like, now they have technology and they have this other stuff. I really like Hogwarts. Oh, dun, I want to see wizards dun. without Oh, clothes. wait. We must stop the program. Jeff finally has gotten his pizza. His pizza. That was ar- oh, now you want to offer the pizza to somewhere else? <laughs> to someone else? Plate? Oh no, you can you can plate? shotgun that thing. Roll it up, shotgun it. Okay, so you want to see a future story arc? I do. I want to see the past where it was dirty, gritty, kind of like yeah. But then it can. Confu- okay, I'm sorry. I've had too many of the past movies, especially like with the alien movies and stuff like that, yeah. where they just start screwing up the storylines. No, where it's never. like, how does this work? I'm, I, I get tired of that. I really do because I want something that's sound and solid. And if you go in the future, you can build your own storyline. Yep. Just, yep. Agreed. Uh, Agreed. I don't agree. That's okay. You have your pizza. Yeah, you that's have your pizza. Right. Just eat your just, pepperoni, bitch. Yes. Eat it. Some of us look thirsty, so I Thank feel you. like we're gonna give away. <laughs> Let's turn that one up. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Not Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> no. Oh well. It's good stuff. Well, you, I'm gonna step out and let Johnny sit in here while you two bicker a little no, bit. No, I'm gonna go drink. Are you gonna? Go? He wants his beer. Yeah. Okay. Deal. He wants. No. <laughs> Johnny, you get your butt back. I don't. Oh. And you keep pushing buttons. He's muting us. What the? I know. I tell you. That's not me either. No. That number's not me. It's round three. He's going to go Nine, back to his two, family. Five, so. two, no, I'm not. Three, it looks like I lost five. my seat. How did you get tickets? Yeah. Oh, there's one next to Jeremy. Not not that only oh, yeah. But that's beer. just right here. Beer is full, though, too. But you win. Yeah, I know. This beer what, and beer what are you drinking? Instructional video for Mr. Beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's giving away the instructional video for Mr. Beer. Is that a certain beer? Or I, no, I gave him this that today. This is how Brandon and I learned to brew. Just kidding. That's, that's how. That's how I gave him a Mr. Brew kit. Oh, I, really? I brought it in. I go, hey guys, I can brew beer. Can I? Can I? Can I join your club? That's awesome. When I came in today, and then Dave, I've always I just wanted. Gave away my instructional video. I saw that. Okay. I saw that. Yeah. If I have questions, can I call you? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> 
Do you know how? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I was given that as a gift like eight years ago, eight, nine years ago probably, and it sat in my garage. So uh, no, it was like seven, eight years it ago. It was time. Yeah. It was time. And I was like, I'm not going to do anything with this, so I'm going to give it to an actual guy that knows how to brew beer, and let's see what he does with it. And then he just gives it away. And then he gave away the DVD, but he kept the kit. There you go. He, he knows well, what to do. He, knows he, what does, to do. he yeah. doesn't need the solid. DVD. Yeah. So my, my wife, she likes to make wine, and so they make a lot of different wines, yep. but I've been bugging her. I, I, I want to start making some beer. I think it'd be kind of a fun take. Yeah. Her and her sister bought this beer making kit about a year and a half ago, and there it's still sad because they're still making delicious wine. <laughs> right. <laughs> but they're wine, you know, a glass will knock you off your back. Right, right. What's up? You ready? Oh, oh he's, he's the captain. Oh, yep, he's going in. He's going in. You coming in here? You're going to get a beer, aren't you? No, my beer's right there. And here I am, the only person left on a microphone because everybody else, Jeff needs his pizza to fuel up, I think, because he's had a couple of beers. And, uh, you know, Johnny's going to come back up on the switcher. Let's see whether or not. Oh, Dave's going to try up on switcher here, so we're going to find out. Don't spill your beer on the switcher. There we and go. now we're back. Oh, great. Now I'm back with my co-host yeah. here. We have Johnny and Dave. Oh, yeah, we're swapping uh, Jeff here. is just shoveling hot pizza. Is he a satisfied young man? Oh, the sure. pinkies are up on that pizza. All right. Uh, no. Good stuff. I already Amanda purchased pizza. a pizza. Yeah. We had pizza. You already had some pizza of that. You can finish that pizza because that was what you were begging for. Yeah, you just... He was getting hangry. It, it, you so, know, you but he's good the on one that, who's always on, on a diet. Hold on. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. I want to hear Dave. <laughs> I want to hear Dave on the RE20 give us uh, the movie voice. Do it. it like, tee up, oh, yeah. tee up, like, Marvel trivia. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on. I can put it in the... Uh, it's April 18th. Keep in mind of that. April 18th and let it rip and as... <laughs> Technology is fun to play with. Him. On megaphone? Ooh. That's not what you want. No, no, no. no. not that one. You want, uh, yeah, those, those help. <laughs> You'll just have to do your normal voice. Boys with toys, I tell you. No, it wasn't. It was this great. is the way we do things. And it's, it it's uh, kind of chaotic. Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> That's a little evil for uh, Marvel trivia. Try it's the other. Good. It's good without it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Marvel trivia. April 18th. Edgar Fish, are you ready? <laughs> He's got that Mr. Movie voice. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Are you ready? Are that you is ready? Uh, wow. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're, you're doing trivia. Oh, okay. Jack of all trades. Look yeah. at all that. That's, That's a lot of glasses. Yeah, that is. And see how they lean? <laughs> he was like, didn't even, didn't even move. Like, hey. yep. Whatever, I got it. Hey, Chris Chandler. Hey, Chris Chandler. How you doing? How you doing, Chris Chandler? Is that what he does? Since yeah. he plays with the knobs all the time? I, I've edited a lot of videos that Chris Chandler is in. And Love how he gets what he likes to do. I, I don't have that option. I, here, I can, Whoops. Here, I can edit these and play with these knobs. Yeah. Yeah. I like that thing, man. Yeah, this thing's great. This mic is super good. Yeah. Yeah. You want to tell everybody what kind of mics we use and what kind of mic you're using? Yeah, so Ben and I are talking on some sheer MV7s. And Solid. these are also USB microphones. So if you ever game or you want to have a good microphone on your computer without having to use XLR cables, All right. these will USB go. connect Clear. to your computer Clear. and... These can also hook up to your iPhone, too. There's a cord for that, too. Yeah, so they got some good quality. What? Oh, the, the trivia answers, okay. I think, right? Who's Harry Potter's godfather? The answer is Sirius Black. Sirius Black. Good job, Jeff. You, 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 you knew that one. Anyways. Name of Sirius Black's brother, Regulus, Arturus. Black. Yes, Jeff was wrong. Did Anyways, you, which kind of mic you got going on? Did you touch it? Harry. What a mess. Bill Weasley, Mary This has been a cluster. It's, it's, it's been an interesting that's okay, experience. Though. Yeah, that's okay. It's, it's, you know, this is what this is what we've wanted to try. His mic keeps dropping anyways. That, uh, Type that. That would be Barty Crouch. <laughs> Good old Chris. Chris. We've wanted to try, or potentially in the future, try doing a live stream. And this is kind of 
This is kind of what it would look like. This is what you get. Right? Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Out in public. Yeah. That would, that would be... That's what it looked like. Anyway, Dave is talking it, on... It sounds awesome in here, by the way. Like, just I know, the I atmosphere. Like it. Yeah, it's, it's I like awesome. it. I like it. It did. Okay. Yeah. So we're on the Shear MV7. Dave is talking on an R- Electro Voice RE20. And that's, I beautiful. love that microphone. That thing is beautiful. Yeah. And the yeah. I love these mics. They're solid Double mics. Dork, Snow Space, 105. But that the is solid. That is yeah. really beautiful. Blast I like that. Scoots, 105. The House Elf Liberation Front, 105. The Death Star. Your squad's 100. down there, Dave. Beer rhymes with beer. Down, huh? yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're way down. What happened? Violet's sinking. Uh oh. The ship is sinking over here. We should get Violet on and be like, dude, what's up? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> and then our team would just completely tank and over at the bottom. Say, yes. Keep her on for a round. I ain't lying, though. These questions are. It's very really difficult. Yeah, they're pretty hard. Shit. Harry this Potter. Is, yeah. Yes. So Marvel Trivia and I will be some hard questions, no but I will be making them harder as we go on. I kind of want to see where everybody's levels at this this next Marvel Trivia. Yeah. I, I want to feel people out. So we'll see what happens. Did you uh, did you mess with my sliders here? He was, Only one of he them. He was dicking around with them. Yeah. I set volume levels, and then all of a sudden I walked I back there. Not to mess with the. Things, but he did anyway. Quit Just messing with my boy. Okay. <laughs> hey Jeff, you're still on camera. <laughs> you can you can do that all you want. You're still on camera, yes, and he can't hear me anymore. Jeez. Yes. It is books. <laughs> I so, love that face. These are Just sheer disappointment, in Jeff. We love him. He's a great guy. <laughs> Here we go. Question one. Question one. Going into Game round four. Sorcerer's Sorcerer Stone. Stone. What does Mr. Dursley's company make? Ooh, not a clue. No. Sweet, sweet love. In Harry Potter. <laughs> no. Social uh, Stone. What, what does Mr. Dursley's Sorcerer company Stone. make? What I don't know either. Mr. Security Dursley's systems for the stones? But Violet knew it, so like she Infinity wrote it down. Stones? That's the Infinity Stone. That's the Mind yeah. Stone? Yeah. They use them as paperweights. Paperweights. Yeah. <laughs> That's the saddest part of that whole thing. Oh... Hey, okay, so Dave, have you ever watched uh, Loki? Yes. Okay, so you know how they reference the all the Infinity Stones yeah. as paperweights? In yes. There? That's just killer, especially when you know the sacrifices that were made, <laughs> people that, your friends that have died. Oh, it's, it's just, just paper. oh. paperweights. Yeah, we just use them as paperweights. Oh, my. Uh-oh. What? What did he say? What's, What's going on? on? It's pointing right, over here. here. I don't know. Question number two. Are we being included in this? I don't know. They were pointing at <laughs> when Jeremy his behind us. Go to save Black. <laughs> I don't know how Brandon how wants us to. They, get to the minist- Sorry. they have how they awesome glasses, too, by the way. The All for purchase. Magic. Oh, yep. Violet knows this, too. We were just talking about this. Uh, we actually have another video on our channel. Harry ben Potter did a full interview. Phoenix. When with Harry Brandon, the owner of Garfish. Oh, yeah. You check that one out. Know a little bit more about the place. Or just come ministry. check it out. I highly suggest you come up to Garfish. I mean, th- this is this is the Soda Nerds watering hole. This is where we come. This is where we have a yeah, good I'd time. So. It is such a phenomenal place to have family, friends, oh, and hang three. out. It's so cool. It's only like an eight-minute drive yeah, from my house. Yeah. Yeah. Bethel, How Minnesota. It's a beautiful, beautiful part of the state. And, and, and the Jeff really likes their pizza. So, you know, that's where he complained so much about. And he only yes, ate three pieces. I do not three, no, no, I, had, I bought that. my pizza. I had my pizza. All that for three pieces I know. You know of pizza. Is, I know. All that's that, all three, that okay. whole buildup and everything. <laughs> For three pieces, he wants to get back he, on this mic. He, he was car, he was no, carb deprived. <laughs> you don't he think he does? Deprived. No. 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 <laughs> I think I think Jeff, in his heart of hearts, right now, wants to get in his car and go drive home. Yeah. That, that's hey, what Jeff Colin, wants to do. What's the nickname for a stormtrooper? Yeah, he starts getting in that way. He wants to go hang out with Tad. What's the nickname for a stormtrooper? That's cool. Yeah. No, that's cool. That's cool. My wife is right there. Oh, oh, I stopped My him. wife's at home making oh, wine, no. so, you know, it's okay. <laughs> I love you. Colin, do we have an answer? <laughs> okay. It, it, you guys have watched Soda Nerds enough to know that uh, Jeff and Johnny are like an old married couple. Yeah. And they really okay. do bicker. You know. guys have no idea what the uh, messaging board four. looks like across and between really these two. I will be working and on my truck Harry and, Potter like, and the Death 
hundred messages oh, yeah. goes by in a matter of minutes. Yeah, you get drowned out. Nuts. All right, hit it up, Johnny. I know you want to push a button. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to wait until he's done reading the fifth question, then I'll play. All right. Be quiet, Jeff. Yeah, see that, Jeff? Be quiet, Jeff. Wrong, Jeff. It's no, no, hey, 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 don't all, defend him. But all, all Jeffs are loud mouths in this place. So there's, there's another one at our table right now, and he's the one that he's getting yelled at right now. But yeah, yeah. On team I'm gonna, it's, it's, it's the same. I'm going to play a song after he reads question five uh, for the audience, and Ben is going to get mad at me. So. Just remember. You gotta make sure you got it up. Like, you, 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 oh, oh, you know oh, how know. to use the board? Yeah. You, you know how to use this, this is right? Johnny's <laughs> favorite toy. Yeah. Which is it? Do you know what that is? Dad? Dave will like it. You get to view memories. How cool is that? <laughs> Take a I tell you. you guys have to sample some of this Garfish Brewing Company beer. It is some of the best beer. Right now I'm having the Bolt Launch Stout. The Bolt Launch is good. Yeah. What, uh, what do they call that? The uh, co- uh, How do you say that? The Koish or uh, Kolsch? Kolsch? Jalapeno? Really? Kolsch? Jalapeno beer? Are you talking about like like a kosher meal? No, like, the, the, the Jalapeno Kolsch. I think it's Kolsch. They have a, they have a, they have a, she's writing it down. See her? Yep, we got this one. Gosh, man, your voice oh, sounds good on that thing. Yeah, it oh, really yeah. does. Yeah. Hey. For once, my voice sounds hey, really hey, good. Hey, we've on, heard buddy. you sing really your voice. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> we've yes, heard him sing his voice. Voice sounds yes. great. Hey, baby. Everybody, round <laughs> yeah. off, it really does. Right? Oh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I just got half your audience pregnant. Just oh. <laughs> I think I might be a little pregnant here. <laughs> <laughs> you have all your answers. Please all right. bring them up to the All right. I'm sorry, I'm Johnny wants to play it. Oh, do it. I got it now. Okay. You got it? You're going dark. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Winston gives you real flavor, full, rich tobacco flavor. Winston's easy drawing, too. The filter lets the flavor through. Winston tastes good like a cigarette. All right. Do you like uh, that a word from our sponsor? <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> yes. Thank you for a word I from have, our sponsor. So I have a Winston one in here. I have a Bush one in here. I saw the Bush one. I played I have, that earlier. I have yeah. a Blue Chew one in here. A Blue Chew. Yeah, Blue Chew. For Blue uh, Chews? Yep. All right, play, uh, play Jeff's is that, Blue is that, Chew. Is that for him? <laughs> yeah. Is actually, Blue Chew for him? Maybe I don't have the Blue Chew one in here. <laughs> Is it Chris oh. Hockey? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. Uh. No. Oh, now he's trying to give away his pizza. I love this. You worried about yeah. it for I'll half take an it, hour. I'll, I'll take it over and he can take over. All right. Jeff, it's your go. Are you? Okay. I'm swapping back to my chair. Bum, bum, bum. Well, once again, I'm left alone as my cohorts love to play musical chairs here. Oh, there's Jeff. Wait. You're not going to sit there anymore because Johnny's kicking you out. So this is what it's like to be a sort of nerd at times. These two love to play their musical chairs, <laughs> ball slap each other until the moon comes shining in. Oh, dear Lord. I'm just going to play with my mic like this. Hey! I tell you. This what, is what'd you such, say? This is such a cluster. I we told you. you that's what it was going to be, though. But this is, uh, yeah, it's... It's something different, something we've never done before. I don't think it's a cluster. Not? I think it's whatever. It's We're in the room. and I know, but Jeff is in that mode of there's people. I get stir crazy. I need to I do know. something. He gets it's the just, same way in yeah. church. It's weird. It's just the atmosphere. Yeah. I, I, I'm completely content with anybody, those of you with us watching and listening, just being a part of the room. Like I said earlier, this is the perfect thing to play. And you're just sitting at the desk yeah. in your office, have it on a tab off in the corner. and listen. I, I feel like I should ask them a lot of questions just so they can answer on their comments. Because it's just kind of one of those things that, all right, well, where, where do we stand with a lot of stuff? I don't know. Yeah, so if you're going to come out to Marvel Trivia on the 18th, we, uh, I, don't, I don't know if we even say give us some question <laughs> suggestions, but... 
then then you can't show up and know the answer to no. it. So yeah. Well, I, t- I tell you what. Okay, so we can, we can't plug it enough that April eighteenth here in Bethel, Minnesota, at Garfish Brewing Company, six thirty it starts. But I'm going to give you guys the biggest tip we possibly can. Make sure you guys go and email Garfish Brewing Company. I know that uh, Johnny has the exact email. Do you have that on Yeah, we can or? tag it in the video, too. Tag it in the video. Just because I don't want to say it wrong right now. Absolutely, because it is going to be one of those things. You want to reserve a table. As we have 20 teams here, this place is packed. They have brought out and they, folding tables they will just hit, to make They sure. will hit capacity, too. So oh, yes. That is definitely a, a possibility. You don't want to get turned away. Marvel yes. Trivia. Yes. Oh, oh sorry. Right. I had now Jeff muted. So I hope so. I'll be there. Yeah, oh. okay, good. This, this guy's one of your biggest competitions. He tends to know a lot of Marvel movies, but will he know comics? Dun, dun, dun. I'm not big on the comics. Uh, oh, so his team needs a comic guy. I was when I was yeah, younger. We read the comics. My brother had a lot of them. Uh, our basement got flooded when we were younger. Mm-hmm. But uh, I do need a comic book guy on my team. Okay. But the okay. movies I've got pretty solid. Yeah. What about what about Marvel outside of the MCU? Oh, not not comic related. Like if you think of like Fox, X Men, yes. or yeah, you got that yes, covered too. I've got X Men. I've got uh, even the Fox Spider Man. I yeah. watched all of those. I know those pretty well. So uh, Fantastic Four. What about any of the, uh, the Marvel def- TV shows that have come out? So I've watched uh, some of the Defenders, some of uh, the Punisher. Uh, the Loki series I watched. WandaVision? Uh, WandaVision, okay. I've seen the whole thing. Okay. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, okay. I've seen that. Right. And well, what was the other one? Oh, there's a lot of TV shows. Good Lord, there is. Yeah, but yeah. the ones that were released on Disney Plus. Haven't they all been released on Disney Plus? Um, I, I have m- maybe Miss Marvel. I think he's talking Ms. about. Or uh, Hulk, She Hulk. She Hulk. I watched the first couple episodes of gotcha, that. Gotcha. I have not seen Miss Marvel. See, okay. here's the thing: there, is Marvel, the Marvel universe is so vast that it's just yeah. kind of one of those things that yes, we are going to have some plethora of questions. They're not going to hit on all those, but prepare yourselves because it's not going to be just the movies. It'll be some of the TV shows. It'll be some of the comics. It'll be general knowledge stuff, too. Um, you know, it, it'll be some fun different stuff. We hope to have you guys. I, I, okay. There'll be two questions specifically that will be visual. Okay. You will see these pictures and have to know these characters. So brush up on a lot of stuff. Look at your comics. Look at the TV shows. You know, prepare yourselves because it's it's going to be something different. But you know what? This is a nice trial run for us too, because uh, as Johnny and I write these questions, we'll be doing Marvel trivia night here at Garfish, April 18th, and we'll probably be doing it for future events as well. And at that, we want to know what your guys' level is at, because maybe you guys will think all these questions are super easy. Awesome. That means I can make them way harder next time. Or maybe a lot of these questions will be really hard, and you guys are going to be like, ah, that was way too difficult. I normally come in the top three. Now I came in dead last. All right, well, now I know where to kind of go. So this first round, I hope to have a lot of fun with. Dude, get your reservations. There's going to be giveaways, so dress up. All right. I've got a costume. Perfect. Perfect. I'm I'm, I'm wearing it. I think you'll like it. And, And, hey, like we've mentioned before, there will be first, second, third place yeah. in costume, okay? Just in costume. That's separate from the other giveaways and the different uh, raffle pulls that he normally does. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of opportunities to win something. Oh, it'll be a phenomenal night. We are going to pack the house. We're going to give away a lot of stuff. We want people to have fun. I mean, bring your families. It, it, it's a good time all around. So. Yeah, you, uh, you kind of have a vengeance you're going after. <laughs> Because you you lost to the Soda Nerds oh, in Marvel yeah. Trivia last I year. I wasn't going to bring it up, but yes. It, it was very controversial, but... <laughs> how uh, so? <laughs> <laughs> how, how so? Okay. It depends on what movie they were going up to 
on the last question. Yeah. I went through Endgame. You went through Doctor Strange. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah. we decided that we were only going to give one answer. Mm-hmm. We, we thought about doing the same thing that you guys did, giving multiple answers. This up until this point, and this person up until that point. Which, and what was the question? It was, uh, who was the sort, the, no, sort, who took over the New York Sanctum? Yeah, or who was? Yeah, who, who was the ruler of the New York Sanctum? The new Sorcerer yeah. Supreme, yeah. Yep. Nope, not Sorcerer Supreme. It was, uh, who took over the New York Sanctum after... Is there, is there a name for it other than Sorcerer Supreme? Because yes, yes, because even though Wong is the Sorcerer Supreme, he is out of, I believe, Hong Kong. So No, out the, of Co- Cosmetal or what? Comitage. Co- Comitage. No, no not Comitage. He, there's the New York Sanctum, there's the Hong Kong Sanctum, yep. and there's a third one. I'm not exactly sure where that New York, one is, but, yeah. but Doctor Strange was the one who took over New York after the Sorcerer Supreme that was there died. The Sorcerer Supreme after Infinity War, when Doctor Strange disappeared, went to Wong. Do me a favor, because I can't stand the background. Bring that mic closer to your face, because I know he's been boosting up stuff, and it's hurting my ears. I am. So I'm adjusting. I know. I know, I know but, what I'm doing here. I, I know. As but he's I, talking. Yeah, everybody yeah, else no, is drowning him out. Talk so, carry on. Doctor Strange became the Sorcerer Supreme after... Tilda Swinton's character yeah. died. <laughs> right. And then when Doctor Strange disappeared after the snap, Wong was still around, right. so he became the Sorcerer Supreme. But they were, the question was specific to the New York Sanctum, yeah, not the Sorcerer Supreme. Okay, no, I'm you be are honest, right. I, I totally forgot what the question was. But all I know is we got it close. Didn't we get it court. right by saying it was Wong though? Yeah. Wong was the incorrect answer because that's what we wrote. And we put Doctor Strange. You put Doctor Strange up until I, the I snap, and remember. then it was Wong after the snap. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think we because we two parted it. I think I know we two parted it. Yes, you guys yeah. two parted it, it, and we just put one answer, and we because had they were at they the weren't table. yeah they weren't specific enough on the question. But see, this is where I'm talking about. It we, is we don't want to end up in that situation. Stuff. So yeah. we are trying to be as thorough as possible. And, you know, because a lot of these questions, every, everybody's going to have something that's going to be questioned. Yes. You know, we are trying to have the written evidence, the video evidence, have everything backed up because I know that a lot of people can get angry with this stuff. And, you know, no need for that, but it's 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 trivia. No, I it's wasn't angry. I, lo- I lost to friends in a, a controversial question, but they you am- lost to the nerds. That's that's like losing <laughs> to like the the top end Olympic winners. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so I was ahead of you guys until we that did question that on purpose because so, we were like, all right, we got to let them get away, and then like. Boom. You know, we can't just and not, not me. just me. It was my team. I know. It, it, it your was your son's effort. pretty good on that team too. So he know. is. And wow. then we had a couple other friends that were on the team, and yeah. they did really well. You're, you're. I was. I was blown away at some of the answers that you guys knew from the kids that were on your team. Yeah. That I was going. Wow, these guys know their stuff. All yeah. right. Yeah. You know? And it, it is it is in the wording of the questions. It's tough sometimes because it gets tricky. It is, and it depends on where, how far you go hmm. in the movie order. We, we probably should have figured it out because he didn't ask anything late, it, like phase, later in the phase three or phase four. So there was no... Questions from Eternals, yeah, or yeah, it's pretty, or, yeah. pretty, pretty uh, early, yeah, yeah. But there will be questions this time. So hang on, while well, I got you before he goes All on right, here. Boys and girls, ladies and here we go. Um, what do you think would be the biggest the fandom today? What, what do you think? Because I know Johnny is saying Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Harry Potter, 
Jurassic Park. You think of all of those in those kind of that kind of realm. Who do you what think do you, has the biggest the thrill? biggest fandom? I would still have to say it's probably Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. Only That's because it, like in the seventies when that kind of kicked off. All those parents I'm sorry. and now grandparents uh, that kind of pass that on to their kids box. and grandkids. Yep. I think that's a huge part. Well, and see, and this is where I was trying to say earlier that it's, yeah, it's yeah, interesting yeah. because Harder it did start off it, so long ago. Uh, but it is a lot of older people, a lot of older stuff. Do we think Dumbledore. that sorry, newer Professor generations Dumbledore. are catching yes, on seven. to it, or is it just still that name? solid older realm that grew up with it rather think, than the ones that are coming up now. I think it's know. newer generations are still kind of watching some of that stuff. Okay. But the newer generation is more towards Marvel, DC, and I would always well. I hate to say it as a huge Marvel fan. But I think DC would have a stronger fan base than Marvel because of the comics where the the DC hey, hey, comics five, Harry Potter, are better than Marvel. Who does I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree jar. with that as far he as does. comics, but as far as cartoons, yes. DC rules in the cartoon world. Uh, no. Well, no. like Marvel does no. not stand a chance in the mar- in, 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 comic, in the cartoon world. But as far as comics, I, I don't know about that. They're pretty strong. When you look at different sales and you look at different readings, I mean, you have, I don't know, I I see a lot more titles and a lot more places going more Marvel than DC, so I don't know. In the in the movies, just in comics, but in movies, in the movies, it's Marvel. DC would love to have those numbers, but they they don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be it'd be interesting to see, but I I really would love DC to slow things down and try not to be so greedy with everything because they want to have Marvel's numbers, but they're not going to get it fast. They got to slow it down, you know. But I've been saying that for years. Nobody hears it, so I don't. Matter. I think they need to have a little bit better storyline. If they could, honestly, if they could reference stuff right off the cartoons, because the DC cartoons are phenomenal. They are really good. I like DC cartoons. Well, it's but. it's the build, right? Yeah. We've talked about this before. Where Always the build. The thing that Marvel has gotten right that DC has never is the slow burn of a character. Yeah. You just well, jump into it. Marvel does fast. so much to build their characters. They have their points, other than, like, Captain Marvel, they have the points on where they... They have to become the hero. They have their struggles, their downsides. They see their faults, and they overcome them. Uh, where DC doesn't have that. DC jumps right... I mean, they give a little background history, and they jump straight into heroism. And I, I, you, We found that in Captain Marvel. You can't do that. You have to build the character. You have to have their faults and overcome them. Show them as... I don't you know, regular right, faulted right, people right, and go, right, okay, yes. I got to do better because now I have this responsibility, this heroism to step up to. Yeah, you have to earn it. It, yes. it doesn't yes. just come to you like Captain Marvel where the, the Tesseract gives her the powers. She mm-hmm. didn't earn it. She was just there yep. where Iron Man had to figure it out in a cave. Yep. Thor had to be banished to Earth and Proved to his father two. that he was worthy yep. of wielding the Yeah, Elder. everyone had a humbling, growing experience, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, and shoot, we learned that, especially, you know, Spider-Man, multiverse. Yep. I mean, it, it was incredible how they played that off. And I think it was perfect that we saw it was a three-stage series there to show how he became that hero, it's off, it's off. to lose that, that special somebody to become that hero. Yeah. So, er, er, I'm glad they tied everything together yeah. with, you know, the different Uncle Bens and the other universes and now Aunt May. You know, I, I think that was an important key that they put in, and it I, that, that so solidified everything for me. I love that character. I did like that about the Tom Holland Spider-Man. There's how they kind of slowly did it. Where Tobey Maguire's was like 
right away. He kind of yeah, just both of them. Got it. Yep. Oh, Toby and Andrew both. Yeah, and we even talked about this where it's like. You yeah, I it, watched that episode. Yeah, you give it like 30, <laughs> 30, 40 minutes into the movie, and they're thrusted into being Spider-Man, where with Tom Holland, it took three movies. Yeah. Do you know what my favorite, my, my son's favorite moment of that movie is? Hmm. The very, very end with Eddie Brock and Venom oh, at okay. the bar. Yeah. Do you remember what was said? Uh, at the ve- right before they went and snapped back well, into he, their well, other he universe. Well, he said, we just got here. No. He says that. Yep. But right before that. My son echoes this all the time. We're drunk. Let's go skinny dipping. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. There's your hint. Yeah, Sorry. that's funny. That, I mean, seriously, it, it, my son says that all the time. We're drunk, and I'm going. You don't even know what drunk is. Okay, you never see. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> he's never seen anybody drunk, but he. <laughs> so he has no clue. But he loves now that he knows what skinny dipping is because he's like, what is that? Ooh. Okay, well, I'll, I'm, I'm always honest with my son. Yep. But there, I there are times where I go, all right, I will tell you the truth. Just not until you're older, because you can't hear this now. Yeah. You know, there are time and places for that kind of stuff. But, yeah, that is something that he... <laughs> We're drunk! Let's go skinny dipping! <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a good, good one. Good times. I, I don't know. I, I'm looking forward to them trying to tie in Venom yeah. into all that. Yep. But I think that's where Secret Wars is going to be a huge play into that, because then that... That really does tie in all the comics, so I hope so. I, I Mar- need Marvel needs a needs a reawakening. They do after Phase Four, after Endgame, after Endgame. Here, here's a question: Do you think do you think they can actually pull this off? Because we've been watching all these different movies. Love and Thunder was a tank buster. Yeah, and then you know Ant Man. Wasn't what everybody thought it was going to be. You see I all did these not different. See it. I I liked it, but it could have been better. Um, you know, because I, I I love Paul Rudd. I feel like that's been everything since Endgame. It's like it's not terrible, but it's not great. Right. It's not. It's not to that par of Marvel of where it's like that was awesome. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um. But in, and even with these TV shows. I'm glad they're do- doing some of the TV shows so they can get these small little points or these small little things intermixed with yep. everything to tie everything together. But I don't think I don't think they've done it to that that Marvel par, you know. And I think it's been lacking so much that it kind of hurts the whole franchise. I I don't know. I don't know if they can pull it down, pull it up from this tailspin that's been going on. So I'd like to see it make to Secret Wars. Because I would love to see Tom Holland get the Venom symbiote the way it is in the comics yes. through Secret Wars like that. Sorry, but do you know that question? What's Murphy's know. Law? Oh, Murphy's Law is anything that can go wrong will. True facts. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just figured he'd know, he'd know what it was. Okay, here we go. Question number four. So they're in round five now. Who directed dun, dun, dun. So trivia Harry night Potter. consists of five rounds, five questions in each Potter round, movies, progressively five, getting six, harder seven, every single one, round. Seven, yep. part and with the controversial question at the end. <laughs> oh, yes. The wager and there question. There's a wager question where you get an opportunity five, to six, bet seven, however one, many of your points seven, you have earned uh, on that question. Yep. It's basically Final Jeopardy style. Yes, yeah, exactly. pretty much. Nope. Bet it all, now, baby. Here's a question, because I asked Dave the same question. Are you one of those wager- we, we We just lost the light. Battery hey, died. Hey, Johnson. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, these lights are real great. They're doing real good. Good good investment. <laughs> Thank you. We love Jeff. He's great. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Exactly. That's I what happens so. when they go in the bathroom. Right, I guess so. Oh, well. Well, Anyways, all right, you don't so, need both of them. One of them's good enough. That's true. We'll be fine. It's all good. As it gets darker here. But no, so are you one of those that wagers it all for a wager question? <laughs> or are you one of those that goes and 
wagers all but one point, just in case. You know, I look at it as it depends on if I'm ahead mm-hmm. at the end. I'll wager enough to keep my lead. If the second place wagers enough, or if they wager all of it, I'll wager enough to stay ahead if we both get it right. If I'm farther behind, it's all or nothing. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well, that's the big tip there as we're going into uh, Marvel trivia. That's the what you have to do is figure out what is your best way to beat the other opponent. And sometimes, I mean, like Dave had mentioned, he was one of those guys that, hey, it's, it's careful, careful. Soft equipment. I'd say thank you, Jeff, but Johnny took care of it. Right. <laughs> All right. We're going to lose that video. Oh, that. Jeez. I think going into this Marvel trivia one, yeah. you're going to have to kind of look at how the questions have been mm-hmm. and figure out, like, if you think you know this last question, you're going to have to base it off of that. So, so the wager question that's coming up right now? Oh, no, 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 no. For Marvel. For Marvel. Oh, okay. So, because I'm asking how he does it, how what's his thought process on it, and he's giving. Okay. My, my thought process on it is, I'm not, I'm not huge on the comics. So, yeah. coming into it, if that last so question is a comic book question, probably gonna get it wrong. I'll end up with zero. Now if I the got last him. question if is a stores, movie question, we're gonna ask you how much goes to your wages. Kind of like probably your gonna get that one right. Yeah. Wager, if it's one of question, the TV we'll series, <laughs> I'm 50-50. All right. So it's I, one. It's, it's one of those that when I go into it, oh, oh, yeah. that I don't know a whole lot about all of it. So I'll probably be a little cautious. I feel like that's part of the game, though, here is we've gone back and forth every single trivia night is some of them are unbelievably easy. Yes. And some of them are, like, just total crowd stumpers. Yes. So that's where you have to play. It's like the mind trick every single trivia night is how much do I want to wager with the anticipation of it being super easy or being super hard. You know? Yep. So I feel I feel like that's part of the like I don't know you gotta go with your gut on that day. I either think it's gonna be easy or I either think yeah. it's gonna be hard. Yeah, and I think that's the best way to go no, into it. Like just how the rest of the questions have been, how confident you feel. That's yeah. what you're gonna wager. Well, for example, we had trivia night, the, uh, office trivia night, the last one. Yep. And all of the questions were relatively easy for a solid office fan. Which most people that would come to office trivia are solid office fans. Except for the wager question was like, what? It was just one of those crowd yeah. stumpers. And that's where I've, yeah. I've been kind of wondering, should I make these all super easy and then make that last question just yeah, like out of left field? Like, up, up, up. Yeah. I, I think it'd be interesting. But with that. Oh, no, until you come yeah, into the question. You might end up getting that team that's in, I don't know. Hopefully, we have, like, t- more than 20 teams show up for this. Oh, yeah. We, we got this. And then you could end up having that team that's in 17th, 18th place that have gotten a few questions right that aren't huge fans but know a little bit end up winning. Yeah. Because if they a- ask a really hard question and everybody, like myself included, that know quite a bit... But you ask that one question that most people don't know, end up losing all their points. Yeah. You could have that upset. I kind of want everybody to lose. I think that'd be a phenomenal thing. Just like everybody wager all and just like yeah, throw it in there. Yeah, yeah. make them so easy. Everybody's gonna wager all, and the last question is just gonna be like, ah. So Nobody you're gets watching it right. this, and all of them are easy to you. That's your hey, hand. Yeah. Cool. There you go. <laughs> or you he's going to switch it up and ask an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should go kindergarten level. I don't know. It's just kind of like 
the, it's always tricky because it's like the things that I know and the things that Johnny knows, it's like, all right, this seems fairly easy. But, you know, to Amy over there, could be fairly hard. Yeah. Or you know? could something that I think that might be a hard comic book question, yep. like, to my surprise, be unbelievably easy to the people here, you know? Right. Yeah. It's so hard to try kind of that toss run. You gotta guess do. what people's levels are. I think for yeah. my first one, I would probably go kind of in the middle on all the questions, kind of see where everybody's at. Okay. Then you'll end up getting kind of an idea. Next one, uh, Soda Nerds Host. Maybe make it difficult. Well, and that's just it. It's it's not going to be the first one. It's not going to. Well, it's certainly not going to be the last one. But it will be the first one that we host here at. Garfish Brewing Company, April 18th. Make sure you guys get your reservations in. Johnny's going to go and make sure that he puts the uh, email address because you definitely <laughs> you definitely want to email Marvel Trivia <laughs> Garfish Brewing Company to make sure that you guys reserve your table with your team name and everything to make sure you guys have a spot set here because this place is going to get packed out even more so than this, okay? And this is Harry Potter, and this place has 20 teams, okay? Most it's ever been. We want to make it even more. Uh, like I said, there's going to be giveaways for raffle, beyond belief. Uh, we're going to have uh, costume contests when, above and beyond any of the trivia stuff, and that's first and second, nice third place you. winners there, too. Two, so five, we are going to have a great night, April 18th, Nine, two, here at... Bethel Garfish Brewing Company. Yep. So Are you closing us out right now? No, I'm just making oh, sure that okay. I keep I rolling it through. I, I want else. people here. I thought I thought he was closing us out, which is probably okay. a good idea because we're an hour and a half here, and, and we're, we're losing lights. another light. Okay, well, I'll let you close it out, then, Johnny. No, but what do you got? So make sure you wear something Marvel or bring something Marvel, and you will get your five bonus points, and that may be the difference. Lots of yes, bonus points. Absolutely. They always make bonus points. There's so always fun. bonus points for bringing something uh, trivia theme night related, but there will, as we've said, be extra points for best dressed. Oh, yeah. That'll be a first, second, That'll be, third yep, place. That's a total different that's, contest. Yep, so. different prizes going out, raffle prizes. Yep. Get some beer oh, yeah. thrown into the raffle. Get some Marvel. Marvel fun thrown into the raffle. So. <sighs> We're gonna yeah. have such a good night. It'll be a oh, good time. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to this. We, so Johnny and I are really gonna rip through this. Uh, we're, we've been talking about this back and forth. This is gonna be a fun night. So make sure Absolutely. on your calendars. Absolutely. Make sure you email Garfish Brewing Company. I can't say this enough. April 18th. I think it's. Uh, I can find it right here. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, What's the funniest thing you heard today? Yeah, email Brandon Brandon at Garfish.com Brandon at G-A-R-P-H-I-S-H dot com Spell it all, spell it all for the simpletons like me that can't spell well A B R A D O N at G A R P H I S H dot com. Hit that up. Make sure you reserve, reserve a table, table for April 18th, Marvel Trivia Night, hosted by the Soda Nerds in partner with Garfish Brewing Company. It just got really quiet in here. I know. It will be a night to not forget. This is going to be phenomenal. Jeremy, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks guys. Thanks for just sitting down. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Uh, everybody else, if you're, if like I said, if you have it on a tab in the back, would you agree with me? I told people, I said, this would be the perfect episode when you're sitting at your desk at work. If you just have it pulled up on a YouTube tab, like off on your side screen, maybe minimized or something, you can just hear the ambient so, noise oh yeah. and us talking. And, throw your earbuds in. And yeah, perfect. And listen to it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close it out with a song. With a song. Ooh, I love a song. And I'm sure they'd be fine with me playing it, too. There's a band out of Florida called 408. And for all of you 30 plus year olds that like <laughs> the alternative rock music, like 15 years ago or so, you know, I'm talking like yeah. Reliant K, that type music, this will tickle your nostalgic strings. But this is going to close us out, and I'm going to mute these mics. And you guys can listen for a second and just see the 
See the aesthetic of Garfish Brewing Company. We'll see you April 18th here for Marvel Trivia. You bought that t-shirt Cut it up before the Green Egg concert And I picked you up from your best friend's house Getting caught, we were sneaking out Fake IDs, getting drunk, shitty tattoos You said let's do whatever we want to Can't go back to what 